What's up peeps, how's it going? Dave here and welcome to the second of this two-part video where we're looking at sentry positions on Snowplow. Now if you haven't seen the first video I recommend you check it out. I made that last week and I was running through the first map and today we're going to be looking at the second map. So I hope you enjoy, please leave a comment and a like and I'll see you in the next video. So as the match begins, most of the action is going to be taking place within this area here. The spawns are across the bottom of the map here, and the control point is here. And to begin with, I like to set up my sentry position just between these two buildings here. So I start by putting my sentry gun to the very right of this stairway here. I get it over as far as I can so it looks over as much of the control point as possible. The cool thing about this spot is it actually kind of covers the left flank as well, um, which you can kind of see the entrance to, or the exit from, across uh, the other side of the control point there. It's a little peaky hole thing, and it's a route I would often take when attacking, and if anyone comes that way, it completely takes care of them. The dispenser and teleporter go behind me. Um, the dispenser, occasionally I try and block the stairs with it, but there's no real great way of doing that, so anywhere will probably do. And the teleporter, obviously, just get that as far out of the way as possible, so in this corner here. There's a little bug I noticed in this game, where as I tried to upgrade my teleporter, for some reason it kind of just uh, destroyed it, so ignore that for the time being. So, getting into the action now. Sentry gun, as you can see, is uh, looking over the control point. Anyone trying to cap, it takes care of. Um, it's just providing really good support for all the, kind of the action that's going on in and around the control point. What you do have to do is um, kind of look out um, behind you and to your left, uh, where you're most vulnerable from. Occasionally one or two people might try and flank going that way, but I tend to find that that's kind of rare and most people come on kind of through the middle and towards the control point or, or using the left flank. There's a vast amount of metal behind you and health, so that's, that comes in really helpful. Um, here we're seeing, uh, I do actually get attacked from behind by that pyro, but because I was moving around um, and keeping my distance from the sentry, I was able to take him out fairly easily. Nice thing about this spot is it provides a really good retreating route for if you are getting overwhelmed, which happens to me shortly, um, you can quite quickly escape back through the doorway behind me um, and that leads you to a couple of cool other positions that I'll kind of go into in a second. So for the second control point I wanted to show you a couple of slightly more aggressive positions before I show you a, more of a standard position which is more defensive. Um, these two positions are slightly further forward from the control point and are really kind of easy to retreat to from uh, the position we just looked at. So the first one is situated just on this little ledge here. Now I made the mistake of accidentally letting that gate close behind me which means I'm going to have to go back down and round to, um, to get any more metal. This ledge tends to be used for the attacking team so it's a really kind of unusual spot to be building at. It means you're going to probably be seeing a lot of action around here and it depends kind of what kind of energy you are and what you enjoy doing but I, I just find this position kind of a lot of fun to cause some mayhem and it's just really unexpected. The second position is just opposite from that. You can see the ledge in the background there. And it's just perching the sentry on this rock here. So by doing that, it immediately locks onto anyone who comes out of the doorway directly in front of it. And it also kind of looks over the track, the main kind of area to the left. So it's actually covering any advances made by the enemy. Again, you're going to see a lot of action by doing this. It's um, a really aggressive spot and it kind of depends on what playstyle you want to use. Um, sometimes I just like doing this kind of for fun. I know I'm not going to probably last too long here, but I think I got a fair few kills before I did eventually go down. 
In this particular game, I actually managed to get a dispenser and telly up as well, so um, I did manage to hold for a little while, and it was just a lot of fun, you know, poking my head around in this corridor and taking out the enemy as they come through. So for a slightly more sensible position to be setting up at for the second control point, I tend to build just left of the control point within the same building. I've tried a bunch of different positions within these buildings, um, and this is just the best one I've landed on at the moment, but I feel like there's, there's so many different angles and ledges you can try out that there may be some others out there I'm yet to find. So I'll, just, I'll continue to kind of explore and perhaps make another video in the future. But for the time being, I find this one really good because it looks um, over the control point, it covers this right flank, and it also covers this stairwell to the left flank, so it's pretty much covering all bases. It's just a matter of getting it set up in time, really. Now, I should mention that, generally speaking, it's not always easy to get set up um, for this second control point, and sometimes you're forced to just immediately set up on last. So it's actually quite rare to see an NG base like this um, within this compound. So that's why you don't often get a chance to really try out and test your positions, but so far this one's the best I've been able to try out. In this particular round it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. Once I'm set up I use my usual technique of um, running around like a loony and just covering these stairs. If I see anyone I can just cause them some trouble, checking for spies and occasionally going to the right flank as well and just checking what's going on over there. The problem with this slightly more forward position is I think it's vulnerable to kind of snipers and rockets so I, I put mine a little bit deeper in which means I think I'm uh, protected from any like uh, long distance sight lines. So for the very last part of this map the control point is situated just in the middle here and I tend to set up my sentry gun just to the left of it here. So there's a little raised surface here which you, is a pretty standard position for the engineers to be setting up at. Uh, but it's really you know, solid and you can really hunker down here if you need to and kind of uh, build a dispenser behind you and kind of tortoise shell. I tend to grab the metal from kind of just over the way here. Um, you can also get it from spawn, but I like to keep myself uh, visible and uh, check around for any stray scouts or what have you. And also it keeps me in sight of my sentry gun. So once you're set up, the one kind of vulnerability I find is there are a few positions in the corridors opposite that can kind of get sights on the sentry gun. So what I do tend to do is explore those corridors when I get a, when I get a chance, just to uh, check out for any snipers or what have you. Anything coming from, you know, directly to your left should be pretty much taken care of um, and that I do find is where the majority of attacks come from. Here I'm having to sort of uh, resort to the Wrangler just to sort of scare some kind of scouts or snipers off who are causing me a bit of hassle. But as you can see here, the sentry gun does actually reach that other side to the right. So yeah, it's a pretty solid position and there are a few others I want to try. I kind of want to explore some other positions within those corridors opposite. But for the time being, this is the best one I've found and it's uh, served me really well so far. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.